Now to a Team 10 consumer alert. More and more teenagers are starting college early these days, trying to get a jump start on their college education and their career. But an early start can come with a big financial catch. Mm, Team 10's Melissa Masiha shows us how you could lose your financial aid. A young woman says she is being penalized for being too smart. She started college before graduating high school, which might sound like a great idea until she learned she can't get the financial aid she was promised. Caitlin Morgan is a bright young woman who wants to become a doctor. She finished her high school courses a semester early and wanted to get a jump start in a college pre-med program. So I worked really hard and I ended up finishing within the first month of school and finished uh, in September. So she started college spring of her high school senior year. We are extremely proud of Caitlin and how hard she's worked over these past couple years. But Mom Michelle's happiness turned to frustration when they started getting overdue notices for the $2,600 that Caitlin was promised in federal student aid. The threatening letters to turn it over to collection and you know we worry about her being able to enroll for her fall semester. Caitlin ultimately learned universities have rules, FAFSA has rules, and getting either to make an exception can be almost impossible. I thought it had to be an error. But it was no error. A university spokeswoman told us federal law requires that eligibility for financial aid at the college level is dependent on having graduated from high school with a diploma or GED. Some colleges now warn eager high school students on their websites, no diploma, no FAFSA aid. I think it's completely unfair. Caitlin will be eligible for her aid in the fall, but until then, she's behind on her tuition simply for being smart. Caitlin's mom says she thinks this is something high schools and colleges need to address as more bright students decide to start college early. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.